Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. It's me, Roland. Now we have arrived to the final piece of the data transformation video series. Today, I'm going to show you how to combine the knowledge that we gained from the previous three videos about transpose, pivot columns, and unpivot columns. But first of all, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Clicking on the bell icon will bring you good luck. Make sure to watch those data transformation videos first to have a better understanding about the Power Query features we are going to cover today. I'll add all links down in the description below and to the end of this video. As I said in those videos, we are going to transform an ugly duckling to a beautiful swan today. And just a friendly reminder, as this topic is a bit more technical, Please don't expect any fancy report designs. With that said, it's time to head over to Power BI and work on our example. I love just browsing through questions on the community blog or forum for Power BI, because we can always find new materials, real life examples that users are trying to solve and other community members are there to help. I can only encourage you to do the same. This example is also from the community page, combining a couple of solutions that I found there. This video includes images and audio, some viewers may find upsetting or disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. My analyst friends, I know it looks painful to watch this structure, but stay with me until the end of this video and I promise with Power Query we will achieve a nice and easy to use format. So what do we have here? We have customer details as columns and they are highlighted in green. We have product names highlighted in light blue and product categories highlighted with dark blue. And of course, we have month on the very top highlighted in yellow. Doesn't really matter which tool you use, we all know that it is near impossible to analyze data in this format. We need to transform this structure and achieve something that looks like this. Something that resembles a tabular format. Now is the time when we can utilize our knowledge that we picked up from the previous videos about transpose, pivot and unpivot columns and put it into practice. Here comes the tacky part, so buckle up. I'm going to show you the transformation steps in Power BI. But as I flagged multiple times, we are talking about Power Query, so you can easily replicate those steps in Excel. First of all, let's just import this table to Power BI. Now that we have imported this table into Power BI, let's start by tackling the blank fields first. All these null values in the table. Easiest way to do this is using transpose which once again is swapping rows to columns. Then we can use the field down to populate values to those blank fields. Just by doing that, we have made such a huge progress. Now the next step is going to be a bit trickier but we have to keep in mind the format that we want to achieve. And of course, the available data transformation operations. Hear me out on this one. I'm going to merge the first three columns. The reason why we need this is because of the next steps. But essentially, what you have to understand here is with this step, we created a single column that we will be able to unpivot later on. After that, I'm going to transpose this table again. As I said before the previous steps, these two are crucial to achieve the final results. And some of the eagled eyed of you already know or have a good guess on the final few steps. If you are bamboozled, just wait a bit and you will be able to put the whole picture together. Now we need to promote headers as the next step.
and we can finally unpivot other columns. So let's just select the first three, transform, unpivot, other. I know, it looks pretty amazing, right? Now the final finishing touches are to split the attribute column and adjust the column names and types. And this is how we transformed an ugly duckling into the most beautiful swan. Just to wrap it up, we started from a useless format, strictly talking about the format, and with these awesome built-in data transformation operations, we arrived to a structure that we can load into Power BI or Excel and analyze our data. It's just mind-blowing how powerful Power Query could be. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully, with this demo, you will be able to improve your data transformation skills. Make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Until then, see ya.